Well, welcome to the garage on day two of the uh, Fantasia Fountain project. As you can see, my uh, my first fountain guy, my first fountain room is hardening. This stuff, this PL stuff, has gotten really hard. Every day that I leave it, it gets a little harder. And what I'm going to do now is put them on there, and I'm going to actually draw the shape of the broom. So it's got to come. It's got to come out like that, down, out, and then out again like this. And once I get the shape the way I want it, what I'm going to do is fold this in half, cut it out so it's symmetrical, and I'm going to transfer it to this piece of plywood. And then I'm just going to sculpt half of it. I'm not going to sculpt the full 360 degree. I'm going to sculpt half, mold this in two halves out of fiberglass or whatever, and then glue them together over the top to make the bottom. So first I'm going to draw it and then cut it out. Okay, so there's my shape cut out for the bottom of the broom. I think it's okay. It might be a little bit wide, but it has to fit. The plumbing has to fit inside it. Somewhat like that. So once that's round, the plumbing should fit in there, and then I can squirt some uh, foam or something in the middle to make it work. So next thing I gotta do is take this pattern, I'm gonna transfer onto this wood, I'm gonna cut it out with my jigsaw, and then I'll have something to sculpt on that'll be symmetrical. All right, we got our, uh, our wood pattern cut out here, and I, I traced where the plumbing's gonna go inside this, just roughly. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put half a circle at the top here to make sure it's exactly half of a circle and maybe one here, and then I can just start uh, sculpting with my clay. So I'll get to work on this. Okay, I work quick, as you can see. Uh, well, that's kind of the shape that I want. It's a little mangled here, but uh, I can set to it with some, uh, once I get it totally symmetrical, I can set to it with some fine tools and put some, uh, is it gonna fit? Yeah, that's gonna fit. And put some uh, texture into it. So I'll just uh, make sure it's symmetrical and then I'll work on okay, that. I think you can see now I've got it, I've got it smoothed out and cleaned up quite a bit. So what I'm going to do is just go around the edges to make sure that they're flush with the wood. Looks like I got to add a little bit in there. And then I can get my fine sculpting tools out and I'm going to put some textural elements in here, like a little bit of uh, ridges in here to represent the the straw, but I don't want to overdo it and do it to every single edge of this because it won't look very cartoony then. So I'll get to work on that right now. Okay, that worked well, as you can see. We've got some texture in there now. Still needs a little bit more blending, but that's pretty good. After I get this, the edge is finished to my liking here, what I'm going to do is just leave it overnight, let it dry out, and then uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we'll be able to work on the, uh, the mold-making process. So that's it for tonight. Right, Mickey?